Good morning, it is Thursday and we got something in the mail today and I'll show you what it is. It is a heating element for a dryer, so our dryer should be up and running again very soon. Let's put it in here, it should be pretty easy to replace. Okay, the hard, thing, the hard thing was figuring out how to get the thing out and figuring out what the problem was in the first place. But once we figured out the problem, should See, be it just easy. slides right yeah. into that. And then they'll have to put a screw Casing. in there and put the stuff back together. And try it out. Yeah. And if any of you were wondering, we actually did survive without our dryer. We yeah. do not have Mount Washmore. Uh, we've been <laughs> we've been doing most of the laundry. It hasn't really rained. It's been gray, but we were, we've been able to just hang the laundry outside. It's pretty normal for us in the summertime to hang it out most most all of the summer. We don't use the dryer nearly as much in the summer, only for rainy days. It's just a little cooler than usual for putting the laundry out, but we survive just fine and the laundry's caught up which is good because the next three days it's supposed to rain which means we'd be behind so the part came in perfect timing i'm hoping that it's all will go well art can get it hooked up it'll heat up and we will be back in business okay that's done now i need to hook up the wires and yes the machine's still unplugged huh, yes i checked I had to make sure, verify that no kid plugged it in because that would be pretty bad if somebody plugged it in when I didn't know about it. And this is really not a hard job. No. I think the hardest part was the, di the diagnosing the problem. Oh, look at this. This is wrong. A square balloons. Well, maybe the balloon is inside the box, and that's what they're doing. Okay, so that one gets pulled up. Uh, and this is wrong. Mom, this is wrong also. Oh, a gorilla? Right here. <laughs> a gorilla fishing with a banana! That's <laughs> not right! <laughs> well, uh, someone could have uh, tossed a banana in. No, you don't fish with a banana. Have you ever <laughs> seen Mommy fish with a banana? <laughs> No. A hot dog. No. And a bird feeder. <laughs> a bird feeder. Daddy, have you ever heard of somebody fishing with a bird feeder? No, but it's possible. <laughs> and someone's fishing with a shoe. <laughs> Look at this. No, I think he goes Can here. Can I play Easter on April 1st? Yes, you may. Good job. Well, next. Which one do you want to do How next? How about do that one? All right. Oh, yeah, that's great. Is it working? No. Oh, look at that. So for any of you who wants to know how your dryer works, that's how it works. No, I need to put this on, but I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to have you help put it in. All right, I'll put the camera down. Okay. Slide so, up. Yep, slide up and then put the front and back. That's about it, and then I just have to screw in two screws. All right. Those birds are peeping like mad. This is exciting. We, Janelle is reading the instructions. And look at this. We are getting ready to do some finishing on some wood. And this is the tread for the stair in the girls' room. And then these three boards here are for the racks that we're going to put in the office to hang up Janelle's bags. You don't like that sound? No. Well, it's, it's very low odor, but for those with sensitive um, sniffers. He doesn't like the sound. Oh, the sound? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you can go upstairs then. Oh, this, I, this won't take that long to do, actually. Because Daddy already did a really good job standing it. Let's just make sure kiddos don't get any slivers. Because nobody likes slivers, do they? Janelle is going to do this, and I'm going to go back to work and fix some instruments. Mommy is now sanding her 31 board because she has she has lots of stuff, and 31 is very generous because she wants to hang it up because there will be little screws right here and right here because she can hang all her stuff on. Hey, Mary. Lydia is doing a game. And I'm doing 
John over there is reading, I think, science. And, Mom, are you excited that we're doing this? Mm -hmm. oh. Can I say that? It's not pink. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah, it's smooth. Mom, you forgot a little bit. Stairtread has the first coat of the flooring um, protector on it. Now I have to flip this over into the other side, but I can't do that until this dries. Um, so, so this is the first coat, and this finishes up the stair tread. Now I'm going to stain these guys, and for that I'm going to be just using some of this gel stain here. I'm gonna stain these with my um, gel stain, but it's gonna take probably the rest of the day for it to dry. So I won't be able to finish these up until tomorrow. And then this needs two hours. So we're gonna get the process started. It's not gonna be done, but at least it's started. Gloves are extremely helpful when you're staining because they'll just make, the stain will make a mess out of your hands. The shelf boards are stained. I have to let them dry for, for a while now. And that's all I can do until this stuff dries. We're headed into this hardware store to get some hooks for the racks that Janelle is working on. Mm -hmm. We only have three of these. Uh-oh. How many do we need? We're gonna get all those hooks there. Um, my other thought, well, should we get the three of these and then just space singles? Yeah, we could. We cleared them out of their hooks. Yes, we did. Well, the brass ones. And you have two, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think we're good. Are you counting kids? Counting hooks. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, what is this? I haven't seen this before. They were. I have. Like It's spring, but it doesn't feel like spring. No. Yeah. Hey, Art, what? would you want a wicker thing like that on our couch, on our front porch? Um, uh, yeah, That's cute. maybe. Would you like that? I don't know, it looks kind of cozy. It, it does. You have a hammock in there. We have a whole lot of people sitting there. And we also have our porch swing. Uh, well, I have Auntie's furniture. I like Auntie's furniture. Is it safe to do that? Is it safe? It yeah, should I be safe. Presume. would be fun. I bet you kids would get hurt on a hammock though. You can go around, you can go around the, you can go around the, um, you can twist the thing the first. All the way around so you fall off? Question. If we got a hammock, who would be the first kid to get hurt? Who sees a problem with Daddy? Come Peter? over here. Daddy, <laughs> come over here. They're too heavy. Do you want me to hold them? It would be cool. Who sees a problem with this? Uh, what's the problem with you? I do have to find out. Uh, I don't see any problem. Two, two, twelve is. No, that's fine. Two, twelve. No, well, that's it's a one, one two. two. It's not a twelve, but yeah, it does kind of look like that. Oh. Hey, Janelle, do we need a, a pink grill? You know, it would not cook for that's all of us. us. Probably not. Thousand dollars? Wow. You can build one cheaper. Why didn't you just say one thousand dollar pieces? Nine, ninety, nine, nine, nine. Now they're saving you a penny. We got home from the hardware store and Janelle is working on the stair and uh, the rest of us are cooking while Janelle is doing that. The reason Janelle is doing the finishing is she's a lot better at finishing than I am. I'm a, a not too good of a finisher. I enjoy finishing, and why not let the person who enjoys it? Right. 
<laughs> Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to have art. Usually we eat on this end of the, of the table, but today we're going to eat on this end. This place is just a real hub of activity right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, right a little now. on the chaotic, on the chaotic side, if you yes. can't gather. Oh, oh, but can I eat a No, actually, I just got to put it over the heat. Okay. 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 You can feel it. It feels damp now. Because I had to take, I sanded it, and then I had to take the sand stuff off. Yeah, just stick it over the vent right here. Oh. For a second. Let the heat dry it out. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay, just stand there and enjoy the heat for a little while. I'll enjoy the heat. Uh -huh. It's still it's what, heat 45 and raining yeah. out. It's I did. a little yes. chilly. What they say? What do they say? April showers bring Mayflowers, and what do Mayflowers bring? Do you know what Mayflowers bring? They bring pilgrims. Pilgrims. Yeah, I like pilgrims. It's looking good. Is that looking good? I think so. I think it's going to match the floor pretty well. It'll look nice in there. Janelle finished her boards, right, as we are finishing up our meal. Well, what passed, <laughs> what's going to pass for a meal today? Uh, Daddy just cooked leftovers. Uh -uh. Almost 11 o'clock, and Janelle is doing a third coat. So we're hoping to get this finished by Saturday. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. If I had two parties tonight, I was hoping to... Uh get another coat on at eat, but that I didn't get around to it because of the parties. So um, we'll see how many more coats this is going to need in the morning. Being that this is a stair tread, it's going to take a lot of use and abuse. So I want to have as much protection as I can get on it. Um, just from our experience in the past when Art did the floor downstairs versus the floor in the hallway, um, the more coats, the more secure and sealed the wood is, and the better the result in the end. So it may take a little extra time, but <laughs> lesson learned, it's worth the extra time to make sure it's well sealed and it makes it for easier cleaning and everything. We're going to end the video there. Good night. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you tomorrow.